Today, this is kind of one of those, like, just all, all over the place feeling days. Wow. The difference in level, uh, that, like... Eat this! You, you really do feel like you become stronger. Well, yeah, it's one of those where, like, being the same level as the enemy seems to just crank down the damage that they do to you. So by fighting things over your level, yeah. But, like, some games do that more than others. And this game, I feel like, almost does it to the to an extreme degree. Not a big deal, it's just kind of shocking. It's like, oh yeah, these guys that used to one-shot me. Yeah, they do, like, 20 damage now. <laughs> I haven't even changed my equipment that much. There we go. Maybe we just needed the cutscene for this. Incineraptors are uh, given to showing their ugly mugs on top of that there cliff. They have a taste for carrion crow's eggs, see? And that's where the squawkers make their nests. But how did we get up there? Ah, there was a time I would have shimmied up there quick as you could tie your shoes, but, uh, uh, that time was a while back. About, well, a couple hundred Chipotle burritos, mainly. <laughs> then what about using one of your flying contraptions? Be my guest, Roland Lad, but you'll think better of it when you're tumbling from the sky, your wings ablaze about ye. Hey! Look! A prop leaf clover! Yeah. Yeah. Dead prop leafed clover. And didn't Neil say s Neil? Neil. Sorry, Neil say something about that quicken growth spell not working on dried up plants. No joy there then. But if we could somehow make it young and fresh again, we might be able to use it. Hey, you know what might just do that? Um, what? Ah, ah, of course. Uh, butt powder. The secret supplement from Bod Bodley. That is one sexy para plant. Tidy! Good as flipping new, man. Okay, let's get it to work. Wind Whipper! Well, we just rubbed an old lady's ointment on a plant. Uh huh. <laughs> <sighs> well, I have to say, as far as weird Japanese tropes go, this one has the funnier ones, at least. <laughs> How old is Bodley then? Uncomfortably old. Centuries, apparently. Uncomfortably old. Whoa. Ooh, dragon. That can't be Snakes an incineraptor. That's the incineraptor. Incineraptor, ahoy! Oh, that looks cool. Why couldn't yeah. this be a monster collection game? I would just want a dragon God, collection game. God, this puts game. World of Final Fantasy to shame. Like, I love World of Final Fantasy. Let's clobber it quickly, shall we? Poke in the butt with your swords! Seriously, how rad would it be if, like, you could actually, like, collect I, monsters in this I game? I wanted a dragon collection game, and I thought that that scale bound was supposed to be it. Yeah, and then it turned out Microsoft is dumb. Because wasn't the premise of that game you were supposed to bond yourself to dragons and fly around on them? Yeah, and level them it was up going and... to be sweet. And then you know what happened? Oh, what? Microsoft decided, nah. It almost killed Platinum Games for it, too. What, what else has Platinum been working on since then? Uh, well. Ouch. Okay, so I'm supposed to roll away from those. I was wondering if I could block them. The answer is Have you been throwing no. water balloons at it? Uh, I don't really have that option. Oh, good. Wait, you, you didn't bring Evan along? Nope. Take that. Wow, really? Don't let me down. I can just knock this thing over. 
It's Holy crap, done. it stays down. Take that. Oh, right. I gotta equip the new spell on Roland. I forget about that. Uh oh. Well, you also need to equip Roland. Sheesh. Kinda. But the fun boss. The fast, the uh, I was gonna say fast battle. The boss battle is already started. Fast battle. <laughs> That's a Mega Man boss. Really? Yeah. There's a a bass. bass, like a fish. I think it's bass. He's very music themed. Oh, then, then that would be a bass battle. Yeah, he's one of the many kind of Mega Man clone-ish things. Anyway, we got the Incineraptor's horn. An Incineraptor's horn. It's beautiful. Aye. Aye, that it is, lad. I've a mind to take it as a trophy for myself. But I've got the other three, and I don't really need a fourth. <laughs> anyway, I'd sooner do that than hand it over to that adulpated old crone. I wonder what she wants it for anyway. Only one way to find out. Let's go give it to her. Well, no, first I want to look around. I haven't been up here before. Yeah, there's a treasure chest underneath all the uh, Loot eggs. and its babies. You killed its mother. I always feel bad when that happens in games. Oh, songbook number 13. But yeah, Platinum Games is currently working on Bayonetta 3, but it was Nier Automata that saved their company. Ah. Okay, vegetables. You know, the ones where you always eat the yellow bits and leave the rest. Corn. Or... Um. I'm gonna throw a carrot at it, but it's probably corn. Yeah. yeah. You probably need to find corn. Because eat There's all the yellow shot. bits I had and do it the rest. I had... 22, so I'll have to keep that in mind that there's one there. I really wish they'd be uh, marked on the map. Hmm. Oh well. I haven't had Back we go. just corn on the cob in a long time. But yeah, so what what happened was uh, Platinum Games was going to work on Scalebound for Microsoft uh, on the Xbox, which I was really excited for, which is part of the reason why I was... Getting an Xbox? Yeah, why I picked up an Xbox. I'm like, Scalebound's gonna be amazing! And then, um... What do you know? It crashed, and so they, they quickly, more or less, banged out Nier Automata, which did amazingly well and saved Yoko Taro and Platinum Games from bankruptcy, more or less. Anywho. Back to this horror. Well, did you bring me an Incineraptor's horny warny woo Here you go. Oh, my. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So warm, so wonderful and warm. Yes, it's heating up my heart like a hearty, hot, hot thing. Mm. <laughs> Bodily knew she was right to ask her Favory wavery woozer you and it's time for the third and final one <laughs> Do me this last one niceness and you'll have a lovely lovely library card of your own Yes Righto let's get to it What do you need bottles old girl? Someone with an army, horrible bandit, stole my stone. My lovely, lovely stone. Kings have armies, yes, and you're a king. An adorable, teeny, tiny little king, but a king nonetheless. Hmm? Use your army and get it back. My stony wody woo Hmm. Hmm. I'm not quite sure I'd call what we have an army. Naman! Naman? Two units is more like. Er, uh, scrum? Oh. Too weak. Too weak. Yes. 
He'll be squished, slaughtered. Mm? Oh, yes, I just remembered. There's a dog man, good doggy, Gaugia. He used to be a, a good go doggy soldier, yes. Make him your good doggy soldier, woof woof. Make your army strong, yes. It'll be in the casino, mm? Loves the casino, mm? Looks like we're off in search of the this Gaugia then. Ev Evan lad. All right. All right. Yeah, so who wants nightmares from the, <laughs> my voice? I'm going to dream in this voice and it's going to be horrible. <laughs> like you guys have to listen to it. I have to live it. This is my voice. My voice is doing this. It's especially bad when you roll over and Wander decides to keep one of these insane voices. Good night, Michelle. <laughs> you know. Just no. remember that I love you, love you, love you. <laughs> you don't ever do that to me. Excuse me. Really? Excuse me, sir. Are you Gaugia? Bodley told us about you. We were wondering if you would able, were able to help us. Well, if you'd be able to help us. Go away. Leave me alone. Crikey. I'm not sure our friend by yours in the mood to talk, Evan. Flip. Flip, Bond, there's no need to. Hang on a sec. Is that his belly, eh? He's not angry. He's hungry. Starving by the sounds of it. I am not hungry. Hmm. No, I cannot pretend any longer. Yes, I am hungry. I am absolutely famished. Oh! Oh! Then you'd better eat something. Is there anything in particular you'd like? We'd be happy to fetch it for you. Then, once you've eaten, maybe you'll be willing to listen to what we have to say? Hmm. Very well. Here, you will need this. The Fabulous Fairy Tale Fair? The dish I want to eat is known as an Om Nom Nomlet. You will find the recipe in this book. It is de a delectable treat that is apparently beyond compare. Unfortunately, it seems no one in Goldpaw is capable of making one. You are my last hope. Bring me an Om Nom Nomlet. And I will give you due consideration to anything you have to ask of me. Righto, Evan. Let's head to the kitchen and start cracking some eggs, and it? Mmm. Yes. Let's go back home and talk to Floyd. I'm sure he'll know what to do. Okay, so I'm gonna make a nom nom omelet. Nom 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 omelet. I like cool. omelets. Cool. Back we go really to Evermore. Luckily, we only ever have to talk to Brottles like once more. Anyway. Floyd. Floyd. I heard through the grapevine that you need to make an omelet for Gaugia in order to convince him to join us here in Evermore, Your Majesty. But if I'm going to make you one, I'll need to be assigned to the eatery first. Put me to work there and I'll happily work. Uh, to throw you on, uh, throw it all together. Okay, so we might have to do the time travel thing because he might currently be engaged with other activities. I don't even remember what I had him working on. You always have people working in places they shouldn't be. I don't have enough people. You need to utilize their skills. Properly. I don't use the kitchen. Okay, so he's, he's not, not there. there. Not there. Not there. No. No. There yeah. he is. Spell works. All right. Well, as per my ability to do things that I shouldn't be able to do. Time powers! I guess I should probably go back a little bit. Oops. I'm glad that the hey. music doesn't go insanely fast, too, because... That'd be bad. It would be bad. Okay, is it done? Okay, it's done. Boop. Boop. 
Time travel, done. Yes. <laughs> Complete research. I don't remember what they were working on. Oh, efficient spell development. Probably, maybe should have done some of those things. Okay, get out of here. Uh, do we have anybody else? Nope. Research. Can I research anything at this point? Nah. Nope. Uh, which one's the eatery? Hubble Bubblery. Wait, cook shop. That's probably it. And let's see if you can make that omelet. We. Oh, you actually have to, have to blah, hop yeah, over Yeah, you have them. to physically get over here. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, whoa. So, what Are can we order? order? Let's see. Cook. Om nom nom Do you have enough? Yeah. You're making a number of them? Yeah, why not? And increase our melee attacks. And his cooking level increases. Yeah. Which is kind of important. Ten nom nom nomlets. Milkmaid delight. What is the milkmaid's delight? Apples, milk, cream, and eggs? Crits like more likely. I might as well keep doing these. Custard? Apple. Ooh, yes. It is a custard. And then It bread. almost looked like a flan with apples around it. I love flan. Take your time. What about buy cuisine? Oh, we could always Take buy them time. if we didn't have the resources. Okay. Uh, so now that I'm done with that, I guess what I should probably do is go check if I had any other research rolling. Uh, this one. Complete research. What was that? Weapon level 2? Okay. Uh, research next. Anything? Ranged weapon development. Okay. Quality weapon development. Okay. Don't know any of those, so I guess we'll just do that. Uh, haven't upgraded the army. Yes. We research. Risk stroll, yeah. Okay. And then the last... Nope, we've already got all of this. And uh, yeah, what would I put in an omelet? for beginners. Personnel, who's not busy? Different cheeses. Boy, Den's not busy. I always like the idea of having mushrooms and omelets, but all the time as I ever make uh, mushroom well, omelets. Well, you're going to have to simmer, th simmer those mushrooms those for mushrooms a while mushrooms first. first. Yeah. Onions I really like in omelets. So I can pull them out, probably. Actually, come to think of it, Fresh Fish Market, Cook Shop, Hubble Bubblery. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to move Geralt over here. Might as well have her actually in the right spot. Okay. Yeah, I was awfully pleased to find out a lot of our local stores have just bags of pearl onions because yum yum. When they're Let's cooked see. in like stews and stuff, they're really good. Level up your places. I wasn't... Yeah, kingdom level two or more. So I can't actually upgrade many of these. Not until you've upgraded your kingdom. Yeah. Unfortunately, we need some more people before I can upgrade, like, anything. Well, I wonder if bringing in the army will give you more people than... Well, I can upgrade some of these. Mm-hmm. So the Hubble Bubblery is up. What can it research? Bag, Bag of balls. balls. <laughs> Enemies drop more blue and green balls? Yep. Uh, they're not doing anything important right now, anyway. Bag of balls. Great big bag of balls. And it's expensive, but I can upgrade it again. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't care. I have <laughs> so much money, it's kind of silly. They have a cauldron and a... So what else can we get? Apothecary Greed Basic. Oh. So, increase the amount of the, uh... General Store. 
And looks like I can just level this one up. Yeah, so I probably will uh, do some resource grinding along the way. Mm -hmm. But that'll be later. We have so much influence. I don't even know what it's used for. Oh, it's that's probably just a requirement for some other things. Up there. Yeah, Big unfortunately, you can't fish. do anything with the fish market anyway. Can of have two, two or more. Okay. So while we're here, what do you sell? Are you there? Yeah. What else can I do for you? Come to do some shopping, eh? Okay, Solarway, Angel's Tear. Oh. She sells a lot of the items that you need. Yeah. Does she have the thread that you need? Probably not. Oh, she only has coral pink and snow white thread. Yeah, she does sell copper nuggets, which I need for crafting. Okay. Uh, so... If I need to sit down and get a number of these for, like, crafting resources, I can. Though a number what of these I, I should actually be able to get again, from, then? um... A number of those I should be able to just get by by leaving people on the um, the various stalls. Mm -hmm. Actually, do you have a tailoring stall at all? Yes. Because that's this my, one. That might be how this you, one. Can you the bazaar? Can you go over it? Cloth thread, cotton string, and buttons. Unfortunately, yeah. I need more people manning it. We're gonna keep doing recruitment quests. Because that might be how you get the extra thread. Hmm. Okay. I'm fall asleep, but last we have upgrade. we have the last item that we need for the dog, right? Yeah. Let's see. Do we have? Can I bring him over? No, he's in the middle of this. Yeah, we have we have the item. Let's go. Let's go recruit him. We'll do the war next time, though. My voice is starting to give out a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. And I actually really need to pee. So, going to the casino. Whoops, wrong one. I hate casinos. Mm -hmm. I don't even like ga gambling. Like, after playing video games, gambling just always felt pointless. Evan. Good deterrent. Okay. Come on, Evan! Let's fetch him a nice om nom nom omelet and shut up that stomach of his. We already did. But... <laughs> Hand it over the om nom omelet. Instantly here. This... This aroma. Here you are. I brought you an Om Nom Nomlet from half a continent away. I hope it's still fresh. Such a wonderful golden goodness, pan fried to perfection. Compliments to the chef. Such simple ingredients that he has done so much with them. <laughs> My taste buds now know true happiness. Tell me, does the culinary genius responsible for this dish reside in your kingdom? Thanks. It has been years since I tasted anything so delicious. Thank you. And please forgive me for my terrible rudeness earlier on. Ever since I lost the use of my good arm in the field of battle, I have found myself with little to live for. Until now, that is. That dish you brought me has filled me with the joy of living again. I am truly grateful. So, you will come and help us? Yes. Of that voice does not match his face. I'm sticking with my voice. Of course, I may no longer be the warrior I once was, but I will gladly share what wisdom remains to me if it might serve your kingdom. You said you were intending to take on a gang of thieves, yes? What forces do you have at your disposal? Hmm. We have uh, swordsmen and archers ready to deploy. Uh, hmm, I fear mere two units may be insufficient. Very well. It's time for your first lesson in tactics. Sorry, I thought Evan was saying something. An army is most effective when it has at least four distinct units with which to maneuver. It is with just such a force that all of my greatest victories were won. Uh -huh. But you're right, we can't do that if we don't have the manpower. So where are we going to find the fighters we need? <laughs> uh -huh. Do you forget the warriors of Goldpaw? There are many in this very kingdom who have the courage and talent you require. Begin with B Bygone and Min T. Mention my name, and they will be sure to join you. Both have a number of soldiers under their command. Come to an agreement with them, and you'll be able to call upon their forces in battle. 
May fortune find uh, favor you in your search. <coughs> Wait, Gaugia, please. Why don't you come and join us in our kingdom? I'm sure everyone would feel much safer with you around. Hmm, let me think. I will join you, but only if you promise that there are yet more delicious dishes awaiting me there. Mm. Oh, there definitely will be. Thank you so much, Gaugia. And also, we have another nine omelets for you. I got bagfuls of this stuff. <laughs> Truly ludicrous. All right, let's get all our recruiting hats on and get those two soldierly so-and-sos on board, shall we? <laughs> okay. So we have... So we have to talk with two more soldiers, right? Yeah. I thought I read that as a, a pood of yacht poos, and I was like, what? A what? I'm very tired. Anyway. Hmm? <laughs> Where was a young pup like you? What with one as long in the tooth as I? Oh, so Gaugia told you about me. I see. Well, that is something of a surprise. He's normally as tight-lipped as a, ho a hound as a person can hope to meet. You must have something special about you to have encouraged one such as he to open up. And you say he has told you to recruit me to the cause. Very well, but on one condition. You must fir first defeat three Grim Chilla bangers. Come, come, there's no need to look so bald. There's hardly much to ask. In fact, I'm sure you'll be back here to tell me of your success in no time. <laughs> My god, this is dumb. Okay. And then the other one is halfway across town. Yeah, I'm gonna go out to the calm lands, get get the other one first. But what if what if the other guy asks you to defeat monsters that you could be slaying alongside the Grim Chillas? Um, like you're forgetting. The well, order I was gonna have to fast travel anyway, so I might as well fast travel now. Kill. I don't know. Whatever. I'm tired. Yeah. I was just hoping the other guy would be a fetch quest, but he's probably not gonna be a fetch quest. Anyway, we're done. Yay! Victory. Yeah. For people fading, we're almost done. I just wanted to get the armies. I don't know. Yeah. Not to actually get the battle and defeat the bandits and. And finally, uh, get the library card from Bodley. I love it how this all is just to get a library card. If Arthur had to do this, boy, he would never make it. He would quit. Yeah. Watch your backs. Say your Maybe. Right. Well, no, that, that's the point of, in Arthur episodes, it was always something to overcome and the kids would sometimes try to find roundabout ways to do it, but... <laughs> just Arthur and company. Yeah, we need you to murder a bunch of things for us. What? <laughs> Almost cop there. <laughs> Been laughing too much. It's okay, dearie. You can cough for me. I won't mind. Oh. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, my condition was met. I hope you understand I was not testing, testing your strength. I was simply making sure that you truly wish for me to join you. And now that I have done that, I shall head to your kingdom immediately. Though I suppose I should introduce myself Let first. Me show you I am I bygone, do. as you know. And though I may look a little long in the tooth, I can still teach these young pups a lesson or two. Wait, so you had me murder creatures for your own amusement? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love it when people kill things for me. That's why I went into the military, and why I asked you to do it, and why I'm joining you. Because now I get an army that I can get to murder things for me. <laughs> At your behest, of course, but I mean the main goal is murder, really. Hmm? Ah. Oh, this is minty. Yeah. So the reason why they have all these unique character models is because like half the half the townspeople are recruitable. Uh, I see. Minty. Yes, that's me. 
What do you want? If you wish me to go hunting for you, you should know that my services do not come cheap. Hmm. <laughs> you want me to join you in your kingdom? <laughs> you must be very short of people indeed if you have to ask mere hunting dogs for help. Wait. Giao Jia told you about me, hmm? I did hear that he had become a military advisor of some new kingdom. Hmm. I owe him a debt of gratitude, of honor. Perhaps this would be a way to pay it. There is, however, one thing I would like to do before I agree to join you. Yes. It is a simple request, I promise. All I ask is for a single sleep be gone. Well, that's easy. Hey, green grass thread. Yeah. Wait, what about green glass? She's gonna give us five green grass thread to finish the quest. Ah, nice. Bring me a single sleepy guy. We've already done that. Oh. There we go. Unique dialogue, ho. Oh. You handed over the sleepy mm. gun. Hmm. Oh, you brought me the sleepy gun I requested. Thank you. I cannot tell you how difficult I, I have been finding it to rise up some mornings. But no longer. I can assure you that there will be no more oversleeping once I am in Evermore. Not least because I am champing on a bit of- wait, at the bit to head into battle once again. It has been too long. All the swaying grass and everything is making it difficult mm -hmm. to read dialogue. Oh, do be sure to call on me when you need me. You will soon, soon learn that I never miss my mark. Yeah. So she would oversleep, and that's why she needed the oh, potion. That's four commanding officers now, eh? Markings of a tiny little army, if you ask me. Yes, let's go and see boldly. We have some bandits to hunt down. Well, do we want to just go hunt the bandits? You just want to finish the uh, whole thing with nah, boldly? let's not. Because the problem is then there's going to be cutscene of you scouring books to find the perfect emblem for yeah, your Yeah, we'll do that next time. Everything else like that. However, we do have the green grass thread for her. See you. No. No, no, no. Yay, you got grass green thread. Nope. We've got a tailor lady. Yay. Wait. Yay. We've got another one? This guy now? This guy? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh. oh, grandfather went to. Oh, I'm ever so sorry, but I'm not quite sure I know who your grandfather is. <laughs> Nor should you. Uh, of course, forgive me. His name is Bygone. Ah. Oh. Bygone? But of course I know Bygone. So you're his grandson. Well, no. He's the look of the old goat about ye, lad, that's for certain. Do you fight as well as your grandpappy? Uh... Alas, no, I've no talent for the art of war. In truth, I fled the field of my very first battle. I'll never forget my grandfather's fury when I've returned with my tail between my legs. I have since become an apprentice armorer. This does not appear to be a profession of which he thinks very highly, despite the fact that he owes his life to armor. Mm hmm? But why would that be, lad? The armor a man wears is oftentimes the difference between victory and defeat. Any pirate, any warrior indeed knows that. And my grandfather is no exception. But for a man of his line to be making rather than wearing the armor, this he cannot abide. I'll be honest with you. When... His name's Fido. God yes, damn. I know. His name is Fido. When my grandfather departed for your kingdom, I was a little relieved. I had had enough of seeing the disappointment on his face. Yet I cannot help but wish I had the chance to earn his approval. If only you could see how much hard I, uh, how hard I work. Then why don't you come to my kingdom and show him? We could really make use of a skilled armor. Do you know? Perhaps I will. Ah, but my tools have been rather blunt of late. In fact, they're a disgrace. I could repair them if I had three nuggets of silver. Aha! Fear you not, lad. We'll fetch what you need and be back in no time flat. Silver is much too soft a metal to be using on iron weapons. Blurp. Where's silver? That doesn't seem feasible. Where's silver even acquired? 
Oh, I don't even know where to get half of these things. Uh, I think it's funny. I'm, I'm trying to do the thing that you do where you continue the character's voice and point out things. What? Total time played 22? Is that? Yeah, no, that's fair. I'm just... There's a place where you can check to see where to get more silver, but I don't remember where it is. How much silver are you lacking? Uh... One. One nugget. You need one more nugget of silver. Macronos Abyss or Mining Camp number one. What is that? Mining Camp number one. You need to upgrade your mining. I don't need to do anything. I could just speed. Macronos Abyss. Where are any of those things? I think, that, I mean, look at the stuff on the right. Maybe the abyss is that swirling vortex yeah, what, of water. Why is it... Uh, okay, whatever. Going back to Evermore. We'll do the rest of this tomorrow. I'm probably just going to leave it on super speed, speed mode and just uh, crank up the resources like nobody's business. Not tonight, though. Don't leave the poor thing on all night long. No, 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 no. I said crank the speed up. I was just going to hang out and do that for a while. But it looks like we're loaded for money anyway. Watch us just get the silver ore right here. Uh, nope. Um, I am ready to kingdom. sleep. Yeah, you are. <laughs> How? I can't upgrade this, right? Oh, it's level three already. Okay. Ah, silver nugget. I don't know where Macronos or Abyss is. I assume I have. I don't have access to it. What I probably need to do is just chuck some more people in here. Now, it doesn't look like uh, there's actually a limit on who I can throw in. Like, it skill doesn't seem to matter for this. Skills and attributes. Veteran, beginner. I don't even know what that means. Oh, but it looks like it slowly scales up if you notice they're starting to get that. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's just based on progress. I can't buy it, can I? I don't think so. Uh, let's check. Because you're right, I might actually be able to just buy it from the general merchant. Come to do some shopping, eh? I don't think silver was one of the options, though. Yeah, because why would they have a mining... Well, they have iron and they copper, have iron but and no, copper, no, no silver. silver. What yeah, so I'll just have to let that run. Again, well, that's then? okay. Anyway, so I am going to, I guess, just go grab a bunch of resources while we're here. Oh, put uh, Peachy in the tailor. You're right. You can do that can off do that. stream, though, right? I'm just going to do that right now, and then that's it. Personal. Assigned citizen. Oh, Persia. So what's Peachy for? Ah, can help boost work at the Outfitters. This isn't the Outfitters. The heck is an Outfitter? That's something I don't have. I thought it was with the armory stuff. Uh, no, that's the, the weapon. The Outfitters is over there. Oh, you're right. Well, one way or another, I'll do that off camera. Have a good night, guys. Yeah.